fear not the man who's practiced 10,000 different kicks once. I fear the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times, right? And what that means is... Farm really says split. Yeah. He was hitting him. I know. It was like <laughs> running right there. It was the better one, right? How did you feel at the end? You feel good? Your body feels yeah, good? Yeah, feels yeah, good. Different. And sitting like yeah. better in my legs. So it just you feels were, you were in the, in the stretch that last time. Yeah. You looked better in the stretch that second up. Yeah. Um, you were. Velo is better in the windup to start. I'm really excited about the, where the pitching group is. I, I know we always focus on what's the one player, what's the ace, what's the top. What you really need is the depth, and you need guys that can go out there every day and every five days give you a chance. When that guy's on the mound, you know you get a chance to win the game. And I look at our staff right now, maybe in a way that I haven't before, and said every five days we feel we have a guy that can go out there and, and lead and maybe be better than the guy on the other side. And from Pablo Lopez and what he can bring in as a young pitcher who's established at the big league level with still upside to grow. Tyler Malley, a guy who's pitched near the top of rotation the last few years and is healthy and feeling good. Sonny Gray in the same way, pitched at the top of these rotations. We've seen Kenta Maeda just back a couple short years ago when he finished second in the American League Cy Young perform at the top of the game. And then you watch the Joe Ryans and Bailey Obers and Louis Varlins and Simeon Woods Richardson guys that are growing, developing, getting better right in front of your eyes. Hopefully we have as much depth in AAA uh, as we need to get through a season because we know it's going to be a big part of our, our, our success this year. Winning is the only thing that matters. And I truly, truly, I mean, I get goosebumps even, you know, talking about it because that's something that I personally believe wholeheartedly. It's something that I've I've been lucky. I've been on a lot of winning teams throughout my career, throughout my life. Um, and it's it's truly the only thing that I, that I care about at, at this point in my career is is going out there and going out there and winning. You know, everyone's ready to go. Like everyone came into camp, especially the the pitchers. Like you're watching everyone's bullpens and it's like you're just in awe because everyone's got these crazy, you know, breaking balls and throwing 100 and everyone's like ready to go. A lot of these guys had goals going into the off season about um, be it uh, pitch shapes or locations and. You know, so far, by and large, we're hitting on that. It's very early, there's gonna be bumps, but um, so far, so good in terms of how the starters are throwing. Someone like Sonny Gray um, leading the way for some younger guys, that's like a huge help to the coaching staff, right? When uh, your guy with the most service time and the most success over the, over a career is kind of echoing things that the coaches are saying. So it's, uh, you know, he's another coach really. So it's been great. Yeah, they, they've been in the same group together, um, throwing together. They are today. They're, they have a pen at the same time and that's, you know, a little bit by design. All four. First, second, two down. Holy sh**. Atta hey, boy. Hey, cause that's the one too. If he almost caught that, like it's close, not almost, almost but like it, so it's I'm close enough. And if you're there, you got to cover. I'm breaking the first in case yeah. he knocks it down and he's got to give me the ball. Was it, was it running on first hot. and second or running on first? Just first. How wild is that? So now I'm splitting the difference in case he's, the right fielder's yes. coming up fire in the third. Yeah. And then once I hear four, I'm like sprint mass. Get back up four. there. You're just making your cuts. See my conditioning in. State champion quarterback moving out there. Line change. Switch it up. Out. Line change. Hockey. Six out. Oh, there's a camera over there. Hey, be back to the base. So you're good. One time, puck net, pucks in deep, pucks in the net. Yep, cover first. We've been working on this. He's over there, and it's over. Yes. Yes. Ready to rotate. Let's have a great day today. Good job. Good work, boys. Good work. 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 Good work.
Yeah, yeah Senko is taken. Yeah. 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 You need to cut on the Senko. Just a grip a little bit. A roll? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Done. What's a new grip? A one seam? I thought I said you could grip. Like that. Uh, it's a one seam. Good. Yeah, I think I tell them, you know, uh, you're nasty, you know, like you you got to do stuff. Yeah, you know, Christian Vasquez, we talked about Carlos Correa being a priority for us at the end of last season. We made no secret of that. We made Carlos Correa an offer pretty much as soon as the offseason started. The next offer we made, probably within a day of that offer, was to Christian Vasquez. We felt like this was a guy we wanted to target. We looked at our catching situation, knew we needed to pair somebody up with Ryan Jeffers, someone hopefully that had some veteran experience that led. This guy's won two World Series. He's been tremendous behind the plate. He caught a no-hitter in a World Series and led uh, all the pitch calling in that game. The things we learned about Christian, about how he leads a pitching staff, but how he captains an infield between he and Carlos now at shortstop with that kind of experience, that kind of knowledge, with defense being a key component to winning baseball games, he just adds so much more to our mix. And we feel like he's a guy that quietly, maybe not as much vocally, but quietly is going to find a way to lead us uh, in so many different ways, both on the mound and on the defensive side. They, they'll tell me right away, hey, you and Correa are the targets, you know, like, we need, we, we need two people to win our series, so we're here and, and, you know, that's the goal for us, you know. We're happy to be here and, and we feel very comfortable here. From catcher to catcher, we can have conversations. And for me, I can pick, pick his brain and how he prepares for, for these games and how he prepared to come into a situation like this. It's, it's simple for me to work with a new catcher because I'm not like Duran up there. I'm not like throwing these ungodly, you know, breaking balls and 105 miles an hour. So it's like, um, I was excited. I, I When I saw he was becoming a free agent, I was like, man, I, I hope we sign him. I feel like I, I'm inside on the mind hitters. <laughs> uh, that, that teach me, Javier Molina, that, you know, get inside the mind of the hitters and, you know, think, Thing like like you're inside the mind and try to to guess what is there is thinking you know like 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 that's the instinct of, of the catcher. The way they help me, I mean, they, they just keep it light, you know. Like it's it's fun to you know hang around them and um, you know just be be teammates with them, you know. So. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Nothing like a little little team bonding back in the sun, changed up just so we could sweat again. <laughs> I just want to say a quick hello and welcome. My name is Joe Poled. My family has owned the team for 39 years. I've been working with the club now for 15 years in a number of different roles. Most recently, I transitioned to uh, owner, I guess. Um, <laughs> Uh, in, back in December, you know, the purpose of tonight is uh, certainly to have fun, but also to bring in the 23 season and to welcome those of you who are new to the Twins family. We believe that family is paramount to success in our organization, however you define family. And without that, it'd be hard for you to accomplish your goals. One of our goals is winning. It's a primary goal. Here to family and winning. We focus a lot on the field and we focus a lot on the performance of the players and that's obviously what we are here to do. That said, you recognize the human being side. You recognize these guys are their fathers, their, their boyfriends, their husbands, their people that have a family unit. And anytime we can connect all of that, we know that a healthy player on the field is, is about more than just their health of their physicality and their, and their body and their ability to perform. It's about how are we supporting their family? How are we connecting the dots for a new player moving to a new city with a wife and two kids and not knowing anybody beforehand? You watch all of those relationships build. You watch what culture really looks like. It looks like something beyond the clubhouse and beyond the field. It looks about looks about into how we build the Twins family beyond just the uh, the walls of our ballpark. Collect this ball over there. Polo, polo. Hey, hey, no, no, you can put it right there, bro. Yes, yes. Uh, Homer, Homer, Homer. <laughs> Oh, too hard. Oh, 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 o
That's a double six for Jorge. Yeah. Six is G. He's, he he thinks we're shaving points off the scorecard. How many times? You lost 18 holes. You won four. It's a rare sighting. This is a team right here. I think he wanted to play with me to see if, if it was true. I was, I was winning all my holes. How many times did I beat him? To you, you say if you played them by yourself. But my score. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. No. Bro. We get a lot of quality guys, quality arms, quality people. It's my job, it's our job as a staff, it's our job as a, a starting staff to, I mean, I, to make everyone in this room, every position player, every bullpen, every coach, every fan, to feel confident that when we take the ball, there's a good chance that we're gonna win that game. All of us players are really, really impressed and really excited with the moves that we made to add depth to this team, you know? I think a lot of people are underestimating what we have in that locker room. Looking forward to, to, to watching great pitchers do their work, right? Like, that can't be lost. Is we're, we're here to provide them counsel and advice. We also get to watch them and be part of what they're doing, and they're the best in the world. So there's always a fan part of me that, that loves that, and I don't take that for granted or underappreciate that. We get to be part of, you know, uh, their lives as they as their major league uh, pitchers and getting the best hitters in the world out. So to be on that journey with them is, is cool as hell.